DGI Go 4.1.7 coming up next on the channel. What's going on guys? Chad here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And yesterday video focused on the actual firmware update for the DJI Spark that had a lot of interesting things built into it that should help the sparks that are falling out of the sky stay airborne or keep you on the ground if you don't update. One of the hottest topics that's out there right now because DJI is grounding people if they don't update obviously they've had a lot of incidences and this go 4.1.7 update looks like it also is addressing those incidences there is nothing in the change log besides increasing warning signs for the spark and then a couple miscellaneous bug fixes so no new features in the go 4 app for uh, Spark, Mavic, Phantom 4 Pro, nothing. It seems like this is just something that needed to be done um, in order to correct an issue, which is fine. Um, you know, I don't want my Spark falling out of the sky, and I know nobody else out there does either. Um, it's kind of a windy day out, and I just went and flew like half a battery, just kind of flying around, seeing if um, with regular Wi-Fi, no OTG cable or anything at all, um, seeing if any extra messages would pop up like low Wi-Fi or anything like that. I didn't see anything. I got some wind velocity warnings uh, because it is uh, quite brisk out there right now as far as the winds go. Um, I looked online. There's no documentation. Uh, updates so there's nothing to explain if we would actually uh, get any new type of alerts or anything like that at all so really I guess it's just plain as simple and business as usual hopefully this uh, go for update does not affect a negative way any of the other products uh, like Mavic or anything that people may be flying I did have to update my flight database again so it seems like DJI is really on board and being pressured by somebody uh, to keep actively updating this flight database I had to renew my certificates which I just renewed yesterday when I flew uh, so you know you're gonna have to download that and install it so keep that in mind before you go to the field if you don't have cellular uh, a cellular device on any of your uh, Mavics or anything like that you're going to need to download that up that flight database update and other than that that's it uh, this is just quick simple and it must be just I guess a DJI insurance policy for to, for them to say that they are taking steps to rectify the falling spark situation and hopefully there will be no more sparks falling from the sky I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, right now, I'm just looking forward to the next update to see what kind of feature sets they're going to be adding. I uh, don't really know what else they're going to be able to squeeze out of the spark, but let's hope there is something. And as far as the Mavic and everything, uh, it's been a while. There's been no big improvements or anything like that for Mavic. Um, so... I made a video about it a couple of uh, weeks or maybe even a month ago saying that, hey, they've they've skipped over the Mavic the past couple of uh, Go 4 updates. They haven't really added any new features or anything. So it seems like uh, they're just going to keep that platform trugging along. It's a great platform. There's really not a whole lot more to fix anyway. Um, I guess we're just sitting back and waiting for the next bomb for them to drop on us. Mavic 2. Phantom 5, whatever the heck it's going to be. But you know that it'll be right here on the channel for you. And that's all. So we'll see you guys later.